Hey Taurus, welcome to my channel, The Traveling Blossom Tarot, where adventure meets the tarot and growth is in the cards. I'm so happy to have you here. If you're returning, welcome back. And I just want to say thank you for your um, support, your encouragement. It's been amazing. We reached over 300 followers this past week or so, which I am just so ecstatic about. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. And before we dive into the cards, Taurus, I want to invite you over to my community tab where you can get in on this month's free tarot giveaway, as well as invite you to join me and the others over on Facebook every Monday live at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I did change the time from 11, so please do note that, make the changes that are necessary, but we will be over there Mondays at 10 a.m. All right, Taurus, without further ado, let's dive into your reading. And, oh, one more thing. I want to apologize for the tardiness of your reading. Uh, if you notice some of the other readings, I did make note that we had a passing in our family. Uh, my grandson's fa uh, father passed away on April 3rd, so it's been a little bit of a difficult time. He's only 14 years old, so please, please keep him in your prayers. All right. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides and Angels, my Mother and Father, Ancestors and Loved Ones. Highest energy, overarching Taurus. Highest energy, overarching Taurus. Thank you. Ooh, Taurus. Taurus. Number 21, love spell. Number 21 reduces to a three, which is Empress energy. And Empress is a mother. She's about birthing new ideas. And, and it's about a new opportunity. So something new possibly happening could be a relationship that says love spell. Let the honey of your soul swell in the depths of love. Now, um, the collective energy this week has been our hearts being cracked back open in Taurus. Wow, there is so much energy that is happening in your sign right now. Um, Uranus is conjunct Jupiter. So we're going to have that. We're going to have this evolution in relationships as well as so many other aspects of our life. But today we're talking about your relationships because you have the love spell. So this could even be about, um, you know, uh, making a love spell. This could be something that, you know, spirit is saying, hey, Taurus, you know, uh, put your gardening to work, you know, your gardening, um, your green thumbs, put those to work and um, concoct a love spell. But definitely what I see here is a relationship for me. So um, Taurus, you could be entering a new relationship. Feels brand new. There's an energy here that has, we've been talking about with all this energy. There's uh, some people are having people come back around. Now it's not people that are coming back around like ex loves. It's like, um, it's, like the missed opportunity people, the missed blind date, the missed, you know, random date, whatever it may have been. It's a missed opportunity. It's um, serendipitous is what it is. So this feels like you could be having someone in your life that you may have missed an opportunity with in the past. So we'll see. All right. Let's at the heart. Yep, definitely. Look at this. Knight of Cups, Chivalry, Hopeless, Romantic, Idealistic. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Scorpio, or a Cancer. That is right here at the center of it. You could be um, working on, uh, you could build actually a strong foundation with this person. You may build a family, a life with this person with that Empress energy. That's the mother. So you may uh, build a family with this person. We have the King of Coins that is crossing us. We have, um, yeah, the king of coins that is crossing us. Now, that's very grounded energy. That's very stable energy. Someone that you can rely on. Someone that's good with resources, possibly good with money. It could be a banker or something like that. Uh, a banker or um, like Wall Street. Um you know, one of those Wall Street guys or something like that. Look, guys, I don't get into Wall Street dudes, so <laughs> I don't know a lot about them. But yeah, that's the energy that I'm getting is you could be dealing with some kind of banker or some kind of Wall Street dude, someone that makes a lot of um, a lot of money that has a lot of resources and uh, things available to them. Um, we'll see. But they are a hopeless romantic. They could be an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. So you can be dealing with another Taurus. 
Um, but they definitely are someone that you can possibly grow with. And they, they seem very romantic. Um, like I was, I was getting that energy in the collective reading on Monday that the romance is back, you know, romance is back. And it's like someone opening the door for you, not because they, you know, think they should, but because that's who they are. Right. So definitely this person could be that, um, kind of person. That outcome. Ooh, I feel like there's one more card here. So we're going to see for this outcome. I just feel one more card. Yes, thank you. I, I felt this energy of one more card. Now they're telling me go again. So we'll see. Um, yep, thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, guys. All right. So here we go. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or Mercury. If um, you are one of those signs, there might be something in this reading for you. As we were saying, we started with the love spell. So definitely a new romance here that is forming is what I feel with this. It's going to be very sweet, very passionate, very uh, dreamy, especially with the Knight of Cups being here at the center. It's going to be a very dreamy romance. Chivalry is back. People opening the door for you, holding your hand, walking across the street with you, you know, hand in hand, not in front of you, not behind you, not 15 feet over to the right of you, but with you. Chivalry is back. You know, it is coming back. Um, so they are going to be holding your hand and walking with you and opening the door and, you know, arm in arm. We have that Knight of Cups right here at the center hopeless romantic that you could be dealing with Taurus very grounded romantic though like I was saying they may be another earth sign because they have the uh the king of coins that is crossing that crossing you crossing the situation here so they are a very grounded romantic they are very resourceful good with money they um uh emotionally sound too with this knight of cups i feel like they you know are emotionally in check as well but definitely someone that you can grow and build with this romance i feel like might develop into something much bigger for you um in the recent past you may have been you know having to count your pennies a little more so this person that's coming in for you is really going to add to your resources and that's not a terrible thing right what, you know, you may add, like they add resources and you add, um, you know, the nurture, the care, the home space, the love, you know, that Venus stuff, you know, you, you create the home, you give it that love, that calm, that, uh, energy where when they come home, it's like so warm and welcoming, you know, you guys play off each other's, um, abilities and inabilities you balance each other out is what i'm really getting here so in the recent past you may have had to hold back a little bit you may have held back resources had to save and pinch pennies for a rainy day you know or pinch pennies to pay paul or you know peter whatever it might be but those days are definitely over i feel that your your purse strings are definitely going to improve so this person's definitely going to improve um, also the stability of the foundation. You know, um, you guys bringing in together, what you're putting together is really going to grow and blossom. It's really a beautiful energy. I like this. Um, I really like this. Now, um, that four coins, like I was saying, it's normally, or maybe I haven't said this, but it's normally a little bit of a miser energy. I don't feel that. I feel like you may have been, Taurus, you were very giving, very open with your money. Like you didn't have a strong attachment to it. I just feel like you may have, you know, maybe live paycheck to paycheck. And maybe this is even about leveling up that way, but I don't feel that. I feel like you, you know, may have lived paycheck to paycheck and this person comes in and maybe adds a little more resources there to bring more stability into the home, into the, you know, into your life. 
Now, um, what is crowning you? What's crowning you is you are like, you're ready. You're ready for your happiness. You're going after your sunshine. You're like, Hey, I'm ready for this. This could even be a sacred union, a very, um, spiritual union with the sun crowning you. This is success. It's like God is, this is divine. The divine stepping over and blessing this union seriously, right? With the sun crowning you. Um, you're, you're very, you know, you're very open. You're very optimistic about this relationship. You're optimistic about what's happening here. You're even optimistic about the chivalry, about the holding of hands and stuff like that. Maybe you never experienced that before. Maybe people, you know, held that kind of stuff back or you held that back. Remember, our hearts are opening back up. So maybe that's how it is. And then how are you feeling about this? Very, like I said, optimistic, encouraged, but you have the queen of swords here. So you see it for the truth. You're very clear. You are honest. You're protective of it. You want to take, you know, you want to take care of it. You feel really good about it, right? The queen of swords being down in your emotional um, cavity is like the mind and heart are balanced. You're both at um, one with what's happening. You're both like, oh yeah. I like this. I like this. I like this a lot. I'm going to take care of this. I'm going to protect this, you know? Um, yeah. So definitely you're being honest, um, about how you feel about it. You're feeling really good, really, really good. Okay. And then, so coming over here into the external influences, we have the page of coins. Now I do still feel that, uh, um, materialism, that resourcefulness, that energy of, uh, necessities and stuff still in the, in the, um, foundation of it all. And I feel like there's security with this page of coins being here in the external influences. This is about building something new. It's at the very beginning, right? So this is new resources, new, new money, um, new, uh, foundations right? New securities, but definitely they're being built. They're there. So I feel like that this person's coming in and adding these, um, these resources to your life is what I really get here, um, for you Taurus. And then how are you feeling about it? Well, you know what, maybe you're holding that to yourself because we have the moon here and anything with the moon, you know, it's a secret. So it's hidden. Um, this is coming up in your hopes, dreams, and fears. I feel like you're being hush hush about it. Like you're not really communicating to everybody, right? About this relationship. Maybe you're even holding it a little bit close to you with that four of coins being over here in the recent past. Maybe you're holding this person, this relationship a little bit closer to you so that you guys can strengthen the, the foundation, the stability of the relationship so that you guys can, you know, work together and see, uh, how it's going to work out. So I feel like right here, you're just, you're keeping it to yourself. That's what I really feel like. You're keeping it to yourself. You're holding it near and dear to your heart and you're keeping it to yourself and you're not really sharing a lot about it. Um, that's hopes, dreams, and fears in the moon, you know, the moon, you're just not ready. You're just not wanting to share a lot about this. You're really wanting to keep it to you is what I really feel. Um, the potential outcome, um, we have the six of cups, the world, the ace of wands and the four of wands coming together. But we also have it with the, the, um, five of swords, the future, the future, the five of swords, what I feel like here, the energy that I'm picking up, um, coupled with the potential outcome energy is that you finally, um, surrender, right? The five of swords is in the future. So I feel like you finally surrender. You finally surrender to, uh, maybe shared responsibility or shared responsibilities, shared resources, shared, you know, shared homes, shared financials, shared securities, you know, all of that. You just succumb and you surrender and allow yourself to move into, uh, this relationship and the security that is there for you. Because I feel like maybe you may have been someone that was very resilient and, um, you know, didn't ask for much from anybody, you know, only kept what you needed. And this is all new to you. 
So I feel like you, you may need to surrender into this new lifestyle. Like, um, you may say, okay, well, I need to stop seeing this one way, right? I need to see it a different way is what I really feel. With that five, that's the energy of uh, struggle, conflict, but it's also a str energy of travel. So there's movement, right? So I really do feel like there's um, you moving forward is uh, allowing yourself to step into this place of security, uh, allowing yourself to be a little more vulnerable with the, with the resources of it all. You know, um, maybe you're very um, strong-willed, strong, you know, don't like to take a lot of help from other people or something like that. But in the out, um, potential outcome, this is amazing. This is amazing. Um, potentially, you guys will um, share a lot of your past together. You will make a lot of memories together. You will go through a lot of um, chapters together, a lot of cycles together. There will be a lot to celebrate. You will create a huge family. There will be many, many breakthroughs, many epiphanies, many um, new beginnings, new passionate opportunities. You may go on a lot of vacations, that kind of stuff. Um, definitely, though, you guys, are, this is a lifelong journey. You're leveling up into a commitment with someone that is a lifelong journey. I see you creating, like I was saying, you have the six of um, six of cups. Now, typically this is a card of nostalgia, but being here in the um, potential outcome, what I feel is you guys creating a lot of memories, a lot of time together, right? And a lot of cycles because you have the world. So a lot of cycles being completed, a lot of um, change and opportunities with this um, Ace of Wands, and then so much to celebrate, so many things to celebrate, so much passion, so much joy. Uh, so a lot is there. This is really, really beautiful. I love this that you um, got this Taurus. So I really, really love this. I hope that you are enjoying this reading as well. Because I absolutely love this. Um, and I feel like with, you, you know, the moon being over there in your hopes, dreams, and fears, I feel like that you will, you will release the information when you're ready. But for right now, you guys are keeping everything on the hush-hush you know, the hush hush, because maybe you just don't want to, you know, anyone to step in or get in the way of things. You just want to spend this time, like I was saying, to work together and figure out what you guys want. <laughs> I love this. Figure out what you guys want and stuff and get to know each other and that kind of stuff. And excuse me decide how you're going to work together, etc. You got the tree coming out. Tell the tree what you really think. So this is about, you know, you sharing stuff with each other. And there's that tree, that longevity too. This is about, you know, you're not, you're not sharing the secret with just anybody. Maybe you go out and share it with the trees or something, but yeah, you're really not sharing it with anybody. With the tree though, um, I really just see you guys sharing your, your inner depths, your truths, your inner souls the queen of swords being down here in your emotional, in your heart, you know, um, very truthful, very honest. You guys share the truth with one another is what I really get. I get longevity. You're each other's homes. Look at this light on at the tree. You, um, create that space for one another. So this is really beautiful. Let's get you a, um, believe in your own magic. Let's see what else they have to say. Thank you, spirit. What else for Taurus, please? Ask for Taurus. Okay. I don't know why I keep thinking that's off. I was using the computer and now I'm back to using my phone. So I was having some difficulties with my camera. So I just figured I would use the phone. And I feel like um, <laughs> I feel like that the thing isn't on, you know. Okay, so you got number 27 which reduces to a nine, which is the hermit energy. Remember the tree, the hermit. Look at that, the light. I was talking about that. This is about you guys going into each other's inner worlds and allowing the story to unfold and sharing your, your truths, your depths with each other. 
it says which justice is coming this is balance and harmony this really balances out your life and harmonize your harmonizes your life and really um, creates this stability within this foundation um, this is truly beautiful i love this all right spirit what should taurus be mindful of as they're going through this as they're going through this what should they be mindful of I, I love this for you, Taurus. Congratulations. If this is happening to you, congratulations. We all want that. Happy, healthy, love. Beautiful. I love this. Thank you. Okay, so you may start getting some messages. They might be a little delayed is what I'm getting because the way that message shot out just be mindful of that, that right now we're still in Mercury retrograde up until about the 25th, but then you still have the shadow period. So be mindful that messages might be delayed, um, things like that. I don't, uh, Spirits just wanted me to, to share that with you. We got recharged. I invite magic into my life always. Every day I grow my connection to this earth. If I'm ever feeling low, I simply step outside and appreciate the natural miracles in this life. Being in nature lifts my spirits and recharges my energy. So recharge that heart chakra. Get out there, strengthen that heart chakra, get into green, meditate on green, uh, meditate, walk in nature, do those good things for yourself. You know, we're really needing that right now. Hug a tree, talk to the tree, tell a tree what you really think. Um, yeah, do those great things for yourself, Taurus. All right, let's see for Taurus, please. All right, Taurus, you got the ring. Look at that. You got the ring. Definitely about a relationship leveling up. Some of you couldn't even get a proposal. Okay. This is a brand new opportunity. Look at this. The pinnacle comes in. This is definitely going to add to your stability. You are going to be emotionally secure, mentally secure, physically secure, and financially secure. Look at that. The pinnacle. And then you've got the number three. Oh my God, spirit, really? So Taurus, the number three could definitely be important for you. Remember that love spell, um, number three, Empress Energy. And then last but not least, I absolutely love this. You got the little made with love heart. So this union is definitely made with love. It is going to prosper. It's going to be abundant. Abundant. You guys are going to grow together, build family together, likely um, all of that, you know, white picket fence kind of energy. This is really beautiful. Congratulations, Taurus. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you know when I upload new content and I will see you back next time. And if I don't see you then, I'll see you each Monday live at 11, um, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time over on Facebook. Until next time, take great care of yourself. And as always, may your love and kindness boomerang back to you. Bye.